When it comes to batteries, Tesla is already years ahead of competition. With Tesla's battery investor day approaching, it's no secret that Tesla already has a million mile battery by now. But in this video, I'll explain how Tesla's battery day will create a paradigm shift in battery technology and fix their biggest limiter on growth. But before going into more detail, please like, comment and subscribe to support more content like this. With that being said, let's dive right in. 2019, Tesla made a move to acquire a San Diego company called Maxwell Technologies. The main driving force behind this acquisition was a technology called the Dry Battery Electrode or DBE. This dry battery electrode is game changer battery manufacturing. DBE enables the use of newer advanced battery chemistry which wasn't possible before in the batteries. But before we can talk about what the actual dry electrode technology is, we have to understand how lithium ion batteries work. So, in lithium ion batteries, there's a positive electrode called cathode, a negative electrode called anode, and a chemical layer called an electrolyte that lets electrical charge flow between the electrodes. When you charge your battery, electrons enter your battery and cause the lithium ion to meet up with them at the anode. Once at the anode, the lithium atoms are trapped between the graphite carbon layers. When you unplug your phone, the process reverses. Lithium atoms at the anode start losing their electrons. The electron flows through the circuits, providing the electricity to run your car. Meanwhile, lithium ions move through the electrolyte. They reunite with the electrons at the cathode. This process keeps on going on until your battery dies. And now you know how batteries work. So, when these batteries are being manufactured, there is a slurry mixer that is created and coated on copper and aluminium to form the anode and the cathode. The metals then pass through some kind of oven so that the slurry mixer can harden up before it is actually assembled into the battery. But there's a problem in the slurry mixer. It contains a highly toxic solvent, which is not necessary in the actual battery chemistry. It's just there to create this slurry. It reacts with the electrode material, which makes the cell less energy dense and reduces overall capacity of the battery. And we don't want that to happen. On top of that, it also makes unwanted changes in the physiochemical properties of the coated electrode, which is responsible to decrease the life cycle of lithium ion batteries. Maxwell has made this technology possible by making the whole process dry, so you don't need the slurry mixer. The slurry removes a lot of necessary materials that might be left behind in the drying phase, but now with dry cathode technology, they can make their way into the battery. This can improve the energy density of the battery and add to battery's longevity and durability. And also, there's less environmental impacts because you don't need cobalt or highly toxic solvent to create this slurry. When compared to Tesla's 2170 and 1865 cells, the newer cells made from dry electrode technology exhibit lower particle-to-particle -particle contact resistance and charge transfer resistance, which basically means that these batteries will charge faster and will be more powerful than before. In the early testing phase, the newer battery can deliver nearly 90% of its original capacity after 2000 cycles and this is huge and the million mile battery comes from these 2000 cycles. So we can expect greater cycles from this cell when they will be commercial. And you may think why and the reason is Jeff Dan. The head of Tesla's battery research group has been working on additives to improve the electrolyte in order to increase the performance of lithium ion cell chemistry. So when you link Maxwell dry cathode made batteries and Jeff Dan's research, what you get is this new battery that Elon Musk will unveil in Tesla battery day. If you don't know what this actually means for Tesla, then let me tell you. This is one of the biggest battery breakthrough in 21st century because it is not bounded within the lab, but it can be implemented into millions of electric cars. Tesla is already manufacturing these batteries. With dry electrode technology, Tesla will be able to create way more batteries at cheaper cost, which is the biggest hurdle in Tesla's growth. Tesla near their Fremont headquarters is hiring hundreds of employees for a battery production facility. And then Elon Musk says that we are gonna get a tour of battery production facility at Battery Investor Day. And that is in the same place. So what this means is this new battery production line that Tesla is building in Fremont is in-house battery cell production using the Maxwell dry electrode process. And this is game changing because they will be able to make way more batteries now, which removes the limiter for Tesla's growth. Tesla doesn't have any of these sales going into consumer products today and yet they are about to hit a 30 billion revenue. If you are a Tesla investor, then this is the thing to watch. How fast can they scale battery production because that will dictate how fast the value of the company increases. They have already disrupted themselves with a better, cheaper, longer lasting battery that if they commercialize will make them billions. So believe me when I say this, 
This new Maxwell batteries will be the end of ICE cars. And this is why Tesla is worth so much more. Because they hold the key to the future technology that is going to change the battery world. And that is this new Maxwell battery cell. So that was it for today's video. Comment down below what are your thoughts on Maxwell battery technology. And what are you expecting to see in Tesla battery investor day. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you again in the next one.